Today on our Know and Grow, I want us to look at Philippians chapter 2. I want us to think about the mind of Christ and the humility of Christ. Let's begin our reading in verse number 3. Paul says, Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross." The overarching point here is the idea of humility. Paul is, is speaking to Christians, speaking to the church in Philippi, and he tells them to, uh, to humble themselves, to have others' interest before their own interest, to think of other people's needs and prioritize them over their own needs. And then as an illustration, he uses Jesus, and he speaks of the mind of Christ which you and I can have as believers uh, within us. And that mind is one of humility. He describes Jesus as, as being equal with God. Of course, we know Jesus is God. Uh, Jesus has always been God, the eternal triune God, Father, Son, and Spirit. But Jesus uh, did not count that equality with God something to be grasped. In other words, he did not cling on to that or, or clench that with a tight fist, but rather he open-handedly gave of himself in humility to seek the well-being and the benefit of others, namely you and I, his, his followers and those who believe in him. Jesus, uh, he did not cling to or clench tightly the fact that he was omnipotent, the fact that he is omnipresent, the fact that he is omniscient, uh, all-powerful, all, all everywhere, present everywhere, and, and all-knowing uh, the, the, are those terms. Jesus did not cling on to that, but he open-handedly gave himself, becoming, uh, being obedient even to the point of death, death on a cross. He was obedient all the way. Uh, being born in the likeness of, of men and in, in, in the form of a servant, or as, as some translations say, in the form of a slave. Uh, Jesus took on, uh, imagine, he left eternity, right, where, where angels worshipped. He left eternity, left heaven, and came to earth. In, in, in the most humblest of fashions, in that, in that livestock pen in Bethlehem, where he was laid in a manger uh, with, with, with animals. That, I mean, he left heaven and came to Bethlehem into a statement. Right? But then he, he lived his life being mocked, being beaten, being, uh, being persecuted, uh, plotted against, and uh, attempted murder uh, time and time again as the Pharisees wanted to end his life. And then eventually they did end his life. And, and he, he set aside that omnipotence so that he would, uh, so that he could give his life on the cross as a ransom for mankind. Uh, listen, have this mind in you, church. Brothers and sisters, Christians, have this mind in you. How does that apply for you today? Here we are in the midst of, of cultural strife and hostility towards one another and hatred spewing uh, left and right. How do, we, how do we see humility in our own lives? Friends, it is so important that you and I would humble ourselves, that we would put the interest of others, that we would put, uh, count the interest of others as more significant than our own interest, that we would, uh, that we would, would, would be obedient to the words of Jesus. Think about Jesus when, in John chapter 13, he, uh, he took off his outer garments 
and he put on a towel. He laid aside his outer garments and he put on a towel and he knelt down before uh, his disciples, his followers. He took that basin of water and he went to each and every man and he picked up their dirty feet in his hands and he washed them. He served them in humility. Brothers and sisters, the world needs the humility of Christ right now. And you're, you're his followers. Have this mind in you. Serve one another. Love one another. Think about this as you go throughout the rest of this week. God bless. Thank mm-hmm. you.